and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today I'm sitting in my car and I wanted to give you an energy forecast. I wanted to just talk about the full moon that we had today as well as what this energy brings. Um, and where are we at in terms of the energy that we've had that has begun um, at the beginning of March or so and will last us until the, about the end of May. So... Um, if you had been feeling really anxious in the last two weeks, if you've been feeling grounded, if you've been having worries about money, if you've been having worries about your security, about where you're living, about how you're going to make ends meet, uh, if that kind of worries have been heightened um, in the last uh, couple of weeks, then that has been the energy and that's a very normal thing. So you might have also found that you've been unable to get the right words when you were speaking or you've been unable to string together sentences as articulately as you usually do. And I think that uh, that has all been part of that energy. And with today's full moon, um, there's been a culmination of that. And so you will find that in the next few days, it will start to ease, it will start to get a bit better, it will start to get a bit easier. And... Um, Things will not feel so much like they're out of hand or you don't have a handle on it or you're not sure of where things are going to go to. Ultimately, the energy that we have right now is very much one of um, real deep hardcore manifestation. And what do I mean by that? Well, I think that it's very easy right now to create anything that you desire in this world. So if you say, I want to have this, you can have it. And if you say that, you know, you just want to go in that direction, you can do that. And the universe is going to corral itself in a way that's going to help you to get to where you need to go to. And so what that comes with, what that kind of energy comes with, and that started, I think, at around the beginning of March and will go on a little bit longer. And then uh, we have an eclipse at the end of May and that energy will, will end at that time. It'll start again. And we'll have the, more of that manifestation energy at the end of the year again. But just for now, there's a kind of highlight on ensuring that you are not bringing into your life that which you worry about. So if you are thinking too much about some particular thing, like let's just use this as an example. If you're thinking a lot about not having enough money or enough money to go on a holiday, enough money to pay your rent, whatever it is, um, you're going to find that you actually don't have enough money because you've been spending so much of time thinking about that. Now, that is the principle of the law of attraction, right? But it's, you know, whatever you focus on is what you're going to get. And, you know, don't focus too hard and with too much of anxiety, with too much of worry about it. Just focus on something, want it and let it go. So that's the, the actual energy of it, right? So the right now, what you're going to find is that if you've spent the last couple of weeks being worried about something, being anxious about something, not being able to really get uh, things done in the way that you needed to, being too hyperactive, um, being too ungrounded to really settle down and do what you needed to do, what you're going to find is that even that, though that moves away, what you've been thinking about a lot in the last couple of weeks can actually manifest now. And so I would say use this energy around this full moon right now in the next couple of days to focus really and manifest that which you, of which you desire. And so the way that you would do that is simply to think about what you want and hunger for it, need it, want it, desire it with all your being, right? And then let go of it. And as you let go of it, you're letting go of it because you're trusting that because you want this so badly that you're going to have all the support that you need to ensure that this works out in your way. And of course, this applies mostly to you, um, um, you know, bringing goodness into the world. Um, and so, you know, if you are wanting to hurt somebody or something like that, it's not always going to work if you if you're going to use this this energy or try to manifest that. Although, the, you know, the, you have people who who are able to use this energy in that way, also to hurt people, also to hurt masses of people, huge populations. And so that is something that this energy can be used in that way, but ideally it shouldn't be used in that way because, of course, there are consequences to that. And, um, yeah, so let's just, uh, you know, keep it clean and wish for the goodness for yourself and for all concerned. So that's the the main point about the energy right now and, and what we are facing uh, here uh, on, our, on a daily basis. 
And um, yeah, what, what are we doing? Where are we in terms of this energy? So you might have found that from the beginning of March till or like as you'll see till the end of June, you were able to do something. So you might have moved or you might move. You might be able to move somehow, even if you're not doing a physical move. You might, I'm not doing a physical move, but anyway, you might find that um, uh, you will have moved one step closer to a goal. So it might be a goal that you've forsaken, you know, a long time ago. And it might, or it might be a goal that you are actually... Uh, trying to move towards but it's taking you know you need to take baby steps or you have a lot of resistance towards it well, what you're going to find is that in this time period you're going to be able to make a huge difference and in, in terms of that so you're going to be able to finish things that you might have started many years ago or you might be able to follow through on a dream that you've had um maybe 10 12 years ago and now you're able to do it and i think i mentioned that previous in my previous energy forecast so you can just listen to that if you if you want to know a bit more about that because I'm not going to elaborate too much here on that. Um, so it's just very we're very much in the middle of that energy right now. So if you have been thinking about doing something, if you've been wanting to do something but you've been resisting it or you've been hesitant to do it for whatever reason, you've been shy, you don't have the courage, you feel like you don't have the finances, you feel like you don't have the resources, well, make it happen the next couple of weeks make it happen use this time between now and the end of may till about the 25th of may or so to get whatever it is that you want off the ground because it's going to be profitable it's going to be beneficial to you it's going to be helpful to you as you go along as you uh, make things um, happen for yourself and you're going to it's going to give you the feeling that um, that you can make things happen and what's also what this energy is really doing is it's getting behind you and supporting you with that that you need in your life with that which you're destined to do with with that that matches your energy vibration so if there's you know if you wanted to go bowling your entire life as an example and you you didn't really feel like you could bowl professionally or something like this then now is the time to be able to put your energy behind that because now is the time that that's going to happen it's going to work out for you everything's going to fall into place you're going to have opportunities you're going to have people come around you to help you get it off the ground and but in the, on, the, on the other hand if bowling isn't your vibrational match and this is something that you want to do you'll know immediately you'll know immediately on the other hand you might start an activity and you might feel well I was born to do this this is what I want to do so pay, pay close, close attention to that if you're having the kind of resistance that's inner inner from the inner inner leash um, that's coming from inside of you uh, then you're going to find that uh, you you can overcome those insecurities. You can overcome, you know, you can get have that courage. You're going to be able to do what it is that you need to do. Uh, it could be a, a challenge that's been presented to you. Uh, you know, it's not ne necessarily something that you're initiating. It could also be something that's been presented to you, a proposal that's been presented to you and you've bitten off, you feel, you might have the feeling that you've bitten off more than you can chew. But uh, if you, if it's resonant with you, if it matches you, uh, you're going to be able to sail through it and you're going to be fine. You're going to be just fine. And you'll know pretty early on if it's not working for you. So use this time that we have available between now, um, recording this on the 27th of April, for the next month, I would say. And, um, well, maybe till about the 23rd of, of May or so to be able to get something started that you wanted to or get something finished that you wanted to but to be able to do something that matches your soul vibration okay you're going to find also that if you're doing something that doesn't resonate completely with your soul that you you are going to have a lot of resistance to that or you're going to have difficulty getting it off the ground if you're doing something just because you have to do it or because society says you have to do it or because you feel you owe yourself that uh, and it's not something that's feeding your soul then what's going to happen is that you're going to find that you can't really do it in this time because this time is really for getting things done that will make your soul vibrate with joy all right, so I don't want this uh, this forecast to be very very long. I think I will perhaps do a an update in the in the upcoming weeks. Uh, I'll let you know. I'll see how it feels and whether I feel that you need it. You are also welcome to drop me a message and say, "Hey, can you please do an energy forecast or an update?" Because I'm really wondering what this is all about, and I will do that. Okay, even if it's just a short one like this one in my car here with a lot of activity around me. And uh, otherwise, I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that you're doing brilliantly. 
and I hope that everything is going well in your life and um, that you are keeping healthy and safe and well I'm wishing you a very abundant time ahead please stay healthy please stay well and blessings abound from Kismet Rising <music>